In this project, we have a number of trees along the streets, and I'd like to comment on how they cast shadows. Now, these trees are made where we have a number of branches, and then we have a partially transparent canopy. But you'll notice that the shadow that's being cast is only showing the branches. That's because the transparent object doesn't cast shadows. Now, I can show you a couple of ways around this issue. Let's say we want to evaluate the impact that the tree canopies have during the summer. In the winter, this would be fine. You know, in the winter, the trees are probably going to lose their canopies and we're only going to see the branch structure. But during the summer, these trees will be in leaf, so their shadows might have an important impact that we should take a look at. So one thing you can do is expand the shadow settings by clicking this button and checking from edges. This will display shadows all the way around the edge of the canopy. But be aware that this is a specific piece of information within the shadow. So if you go to another scene, that information is toggled off. If you want to have the scenes showing that, you'll have to check there and then update the scene. And then go to another scene, turn on from edges, and then update the scene. Now we can see those shadows of the canopies moving across the ground over the course of that day. Another approach is to make the tree canopies opaque. Let's examine that. I'll press B to open the paint bucket tool, go to colors in model, try to identify the transparent material, and there's just one here, it's this one. I'll double click on that to open it, and I'll increase the opacity from 50% to 100%. Close and close. Now we can see that the trees canopies are more evident. I don't think they have much of an impact on our cafe. Maybe it's shading a little bit of this facade here in the morning. And then by the afternoon, it's okay. We have a shadow from the building to deal with. And we're more interested in putting cafe tables up here anyway. But this gives you different tools that you can use for analyzing the shadows that trees might cast on your project.